what's up and good afternoon guys welcome back to another video today we got a special one for you we're going to be uh experimenting with something so stay tuned and we'll be right back right after this okay guys welcome back so we're going to be experimenting today with something that um, one of our good friends and subscribers and viewers of our channel suggested. I was going through uh, some suggestions today through the comments of one of the uh, videos that I made a while back. It was for uh, one of the hammocks that I reviewed. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with using a hammock with no hammock straps at all. So uh, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do what one of our subscribers suggested right here. And we're gonna use some ratchet straps to hang a hammock with. Um, there were some suggestions to use some cinch buckles, uh, some ratchet straps and stuff like that. Since I don't have any of the cinch buckles and I have some ratchet straps, we're going to try the ratchet straps and see how it goes. So stay tuned. Let me go get the stuff and we'll get it set up and we'll be right back right after this. Okay, guys, we're back. So what we've got is we have two ratchet straps and we got the hammock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, ratchet straps and wrap these around the tree and then we'll attach those. To the hammock and see if we get a better hang than using the uh, normal tree straps that come with the hammock so let me go ahead and get that started and uh, we'll see how it goes from there so let me put one of those down there and we'll go ahead and get one of our straps put here around this tree right here Basically, what we want is that right there. Okay. And then the next one. Now, then, I foresee one problem with this already is that I think these straps here are going to be a little too short and I don't think they're going to work. So let's go ahead and try that and see what happens. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to put my strap through the ratchet here. Like so. This might work. We don't know yet. We'll see. Right. So, I already see a problem there. So, we'll leave that hanging there. Alright, so, let me go ahead and get this ratchet on the other one. Okay, now we got both the straps hung. Let me pull out the hammock and we'll get it hung too. So far, this looks like it's going to work. Okay, so that one there is going to work. Let's try this one over here to see if it's going to work. All 
right, so far so good. Looks like we may be a bit high. Let's move you over here a little bit closer. Okay, so now we got it hung. Now let's see if it'll actually hold my weight. This is what scares me, is this right here. Alright, here goes nothing guys. <laughs> This scares me a little bit. Okay, so far. All right, got my whole weight on it. Looks like it's going to hold. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work, guys. All right, so big shout out to Mr. Daedalus Kazon for his suggestion down in the comments. Thank you. You're a genius. I would never have thought to do this. And I'm sure it will probably make hanging my hammock a little bit easier. <laughs> Using those tree straps is uh, can be a little bit difficult at times, so... Doing this here is kind of like having those cinch buckles in a way, except now we're using ratchet straps to kind of hold everything in place. So, big shout out to Data. This is a this is a win. So thank you for that suggestion. Big thumbs up, buddy. Appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and take it down and uh, fold everything up, and then I'll give uh, my little review on this so hang tight Well, I guarantee this will definitely make hanging my hammock way, way, way easier. I'm going to start carrying a pair of ratchet straps with me to hang this thing with. <laughs> that went up quicker, like way quicker than it would have if I would have used my regular tree straps. Now, what I have is I've got a pair of regular 12 foot long uh, tree straps that came with the hammock. Well, actually, the ones that came with the hammock were actually eight foot long, but I uh, went ahead and bought some 12 footers just for the reason that um, some of the trees that I hang to are a little further apart than the eight foot reaches for this hammock. Um, this hammock from end to end is uh, 11 foot and it's about five and a half feet wide at its widest point in the center of it and so sometimes having those 12 foot straps is actually better because i can actually reach further now like this past camping trip those 12 foot straps just barely reached and i do mean just barely reached like i maybe had two or three or four of the little hooks like three or four of the hooks on the strap still left that reached and so normally i'm way further up like normally there's probably 10 or 12 of those little um straps to attach to hanging down once i get my hammock connected to it but on this past trip i only had like probably two or three left on either end so anyway mr data thank you for your suggestion this is a definite win in my book so thank you uh, we will definitely be uh, trying this out on our next trip. 
we got a trip planned up for this coming Thursday. Um, we'll be out of town, so stay tuned for that. And uh, that will probably be going up next week on either Sunday or Monday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, Data, for your suggestion on this. Um, the only reason why I'm out here doing this today was because um, one of my subscribers one of the uh, viewers suggested that I get a pair of the uh, cinch straps. So um, when I saw that, I looked down, I saw the uh, comment from Data. I remembered, I'm like, oh, man, it's been forever since I've looked at this comment. So I need to get out here and actually try it out and see if it works. So thank you, Data, for uh, that suggestion. And a uh, big thumbs up to you, buddy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Have a great one. And until next time, I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys.